Hi, Keith Young here with another DAS Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover very quickly how to duplicate a light that you already have in your DAS scene. So what you need to do is we have uh, one light right here and it's very easy to duplicate the light that you have with the same settings. What you need to do is go to the create menu and choose new spotlight since I already have a spotlight that's the light I want to duplicate so I'm going to choose new spotlight and in the new spotlight dialog box there's some options here. The first one is apply default settings which will apply the spotlight at the center of the DAS Studio scene. You can apply active viewport transforms which will basically make your light at the same point and place where your default camera is. You can also copy the selected item. So if your selected item is the spotlight so you need to make sure that the light you're trying to duplicate is the one that you have selected and then you can choose copy selected items. Now if you were trying to replace this light with another type of light, say for instance you were trying to replace your spotlight with a distant light, you could choose copy and replace selected item and then that would effectively uh, create a new light. So if you want, I'm sure you wouldn't want to copy and replace the same spotlight but this comes in handy if you were trying to copy and replace, you want the same settings for the light but you were trying to change it to a different type of light. The last option in here is to create a persistent point at target, which can can come in handy for certain situations when you want the light to always be pointed in a certain direction. So you can create a null, or, uh, basically a blank object that your light will point at, and then when you move that object, you can it moves the light in the scene. So you can tell one light or several lights to point at this null that you create. All right, so. Right now we're trying to copy the selected item, so that's selected and we're going to click accept. Now we have another light which is right on top of the light that we created at first. So all we need to do to see it is move it out of the way. And we have a light that is has been duplicated and maybe we like all the settings but we're trying to, to change it to the other side of the room. So I can just move the light that I already have duplicate it. Alright, so that's pretty much how you duplicate a light in DAS Studio. Hopefully this helps and I'll see you next time.